Hi everyone and welcome to another video. It's gonna be the first one where I'm actually going to be talking to you. Uh, in the previous ones I wrote the tactics down and I just feel that it could be easier to actually talk about the bosses a bit. The bosses are getting more and more complex um, and otherwise you're gonna have the whole screen filled up with text. So I thought yeah let's do it like this. I've got a microphone so here the pet starts to pull. Sometimes the pets have their own way of doing things. It can be annoying, but usually it's fine. The trash is not so hard in this instance. So, the first boss, he starts right off with a few AoE spells. And they last for a pretty long time, so don't step in. Here the boss turns around and attacks a random party member. Just heal through it. And then this ability is a sort of rage, uh, lots of small AoE everywhere. And there's the two AoEs from the start again. It's basically tank and spank, you just have to avoid the AoEs and there's not much else to it. Here's a small tip to make these groups even easier. If you destroy the totem, all the mobs will be stunned. Well, this isn't really a boss. This guy is so easy, I couldn't even tell you what he does. The only thing you can notice in a little bit is this AoE, but before we knew it the guy was dead. So the main problem with this boss is that you are fighting him on a very tiny platform. It's just this platform and he does quite a lot of AoE. He does two types of AoE actually. It's the AoE you will see in a bit, which is like this. And you can actually stand in the middle. And there's the other kind of AoE, uh, which will just fry you if you're inside. And I suppose the third thing to watch out for is his power attacks. They knock you back and I'm pretty sure they can knock you off the platform. I think I'm lucky that it, that didn't happen just there. And he can knock you into the fire of course. 
but it's really hard to see and blocking his power attacks is also pretty tough. Alright, here we are at boss number 4. I don't want to spoil the quest in here, but these Bosmer over here, I think they're Bosmer, they're defending the gate and a boss appears. It's like a giant flame Atronach. So this boss is pretty straightforward, he just uses fireballs and this attack, which is uh, a sort of lava burst. You can see where the lava will come because of the ground right over there. It starts smoldering at first and then the lava just appears. It can easily be avoided. The next boss is actually quite a bit like the second boss. Or if got not too much space and quite a lot of AOE and the problem is you can't see the AOE all too good because the ground is red as well so here she summons flames and well sort of mirror images appear the mirror images don't have much health so they will disappear very quickly with some AOE however I died and uh, I'm not even sure why, probably AOE. Well, here we are, final boss, straight out of oblivion. He's an archer, actually. So every now and then he summons a flame at Shunak. And uh, I usually decide to aggro the adds as well to make sure they don't go after the healer. So every 30 or 25 percent he disappears and reappears on a different island and he does the same thing over again he will summon a clay matronach here as well there it is and after a little while he will disappear so the pet is tanking the Atronach, which is fine. And he does this attack, which sounds like a, a cross of fire. But other than that, not too hard. Which actually is true for the whole instance.